Hello, Kleiss here, Reverse Hex Reverse. In the last part, I neglected to check the debug report at the end. Whoa, there are actually pretty low attempt counts for the final three levels. But yeah, also, we beat the game, which of course means that we've actually beat fewer than 75% of the levels in the game. Because obviously. Uh, so let's see. I did that one. Pay a bunch of megabytes and hope this is actually like easier than the final few levels, maybe? Oh, we've got conveyor. This actually looks pretty bad. Or maybe it's not? That's not how you win the level. I meant to swap. Ah. Maybe I'll just wait a bit. Uh... Okay, where are you going with this? Oh, no, you keep going right. So basically, we don't want two people in areas where they have to phase through spikes at the same time. Wait. <laughs> uh, I needed to jump. But I think that is what I needed to do. I guess it was pretty magical that, um... Uh, Code actually got forced in the middle there. I think ideally, whoever goes second... Oops. That's gonna be awful, though. Yeah, whoever goes second grabs the tens. Ah, I needed to swap and. Basically, in this level, you're in constant danger. Okay, so what do I do here? I jump. Uh, and then I swap and I don't jump straight up. Actually, I just dash, don't I? I don't jump. Oops. That was almost right. Just... You have to phase through a lot of objects on this map. And so it's a little hard to keep track of who's doing what. And also, you can't just keep someone safe. There's definitely constant danger involved here. Oh, no, you need that. You're the active one. Ah, just need to swap after you get through there. Oops, early swap. So yeah, in conclusion, the optional levels of this game are murderous. What am I doing? Not paying enough attention to rhythm. Oh! There's... Uh, I thought she would actually fall onto the next conveyor without me doing anything. I wonder... 
Do you want someone? I don't know. I'm considering whether someone should run ahead and jump through that box rather than get forced in by the auto scroll. I don't know. I'm really doubting either plan. I don't like this level. <laughs> by which I mean it's difficult. Not that I genuinely don't like this level. Oh, right. The part where you can't actually run into spikes. I forgot. No, I didn't. But I forgot there was a spike there. Oh! Barely dash. Oh. Once I get onto the next conveyors, I think I'll have a bit more time. I guess I can also always stall by synchroing and moving left, come to think of it. Well, at least in that section. Not like in all sections. Oops. I didn't get the. Ah. <laughs> Should have just gone all the way through the spikes and then double jumped back for the CD. So maybe that should be the plan all the time. Not just when I take too long. Because it's it's hard to go fast enough. Late swap. Early swap. <laughs> Forgot to swap. Yep. Uh. Yep. It was not time to swap back. So maybe I can actually grab this CD. Oops. Early swap caused rhythm to run forward a lot. All right, what's going on here? Um, if I gravity swap, which I probably have to, I need to select rhythm early and then swap when they've reached the midpoint of the stage, roughly. Oops. Ah! Didn't do the swap. Oops, you don't swap there. Alright, and then I want to select you, jump, swap, swap. Oh boy. Once I get past the next barriers, which have to be done one at a time because the same commands won't get me past both, because code can't jump in that section. Um, the conveyors will go opposite ways. So I think I need... Oh, not to retry. I need one of them notably ahead of the other. Okay. Did a thing. Uh, what is this? Uh, okay, so I'm thinking if I get... Rhythm onto the springs while she's swapped off of. Then I can just focus mostly on uh, keeping code on the conveyor while I wait for a good time for Rhythm to move right more. But I'm worried about code sliding into the pit while I'm trying to get Rhythm on the springs without dying. Okay, Rhythm is selected now. No! I didn't swap in time. 
Those springs are super unsafe. With those bouncing spikes on them. So much swapping to do in that section. It's weird to not swap. <laughs> Oops. Uh. <laughs> didn't want to run code that far to the right. It's not how I usually do the part. Oops! I thought I swapped there. I thought code was selected. I could have checked by swapping while holding the synchro button, though. Because it says active over whoever you swap to. Alright. Oh, no! You need to go on the springs! That's the first time Code and Rhythm have actually been lined up for that part. I was not ready for it. I feel when you forget to swap. Um, somehow I actually did that correctly. Ah, and I, I hit swap and jump in the wrong order. Save rhythm. No, swap there. Oh! They bounce pretty high even when it's not a spring related bounce. Yeah, I figured that time I would try to go under. Wait a minute. Oh, no! You can just jump to the end there. So I don't need to get code up at all. Besides that, um. Actually, no, I just I don't need to. <laughs> but that end part is a little difficult because you have the characters standing on conveyors going the opposite directions. I want to go under. <sighs> oh, I missed the scroll 10. You go over there. You jump over there without code being near a hole. Whoa! Didn't mean to walk all the way onto the spring. Oh, I have the wrong character selected. Oh, whatever. Now it's fixed. I bet that spike is the one in the level that has the most individual kills.
Well, maybe not. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, there's actually enough space on the left there that you can have rhythm left of the spikes. Okay. What am I doing? There, beat the level. Secret data for... <sighs> that took 25 minutes. Well, we were a few seconds short of 25 minutes on the recording timer. I guess I did look at the debug report at the start, but let's look at it again. World 4, that took 71 tries. Nice. Not really. So, uh, yeah. I don't know how much I'm gonna manage to edit that down, because I'm pretty bad at editing, I think. It's, it's the thing I'm mostly not confident about, but, um, yeah. In the next part, we'll also have a bad time. I don't know, actually, it was pretty fun, but, like, at the same time, like, it's like, do you want to have a bad time? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, see ya!